Mackenzie Brewster, who's catching today, is the leadoff batter in the bottom of the sixth. Cuesta trailing now 7-5 to five after three runs, including a home run in the top part of the inning for Moore Park. As Lewis on the mound came in relief last inning, fires one. And a little bit low to Mackenzie Brewster for a ball. Brewster with a base hit and caught stealing also struck out looking in the fourth. And Mackenzie getting a rare start behind the plate and doing a great job back there. 2-0 pitch. And it is a strike 2-1. A reminder that uh, this broadcast is brought to you in part by Cuesta Automotive. Join the team that has placed students in regional, state, national, and even internationals in the Collegiate Skills USA competition. You can join Cuesta Automotive by enrolling in classes in both auto body and auto repair at cuesta.edu. As now we get uh, things back in sync and the score board uh, shows uh, the correct count 1-2. and two. To Mackenzie Brewster leading off the sixth. Lewis, the second pitcher, sends a ball in high and able to protect the plate was Brewster, sent it back, stays at one and two. I'm seeing a little movement on the ball now from Lewis, uh, which I did not see. She came in with runners on, of course, last inning and uh, was hit a little bit. So now she's got a fresh start. Let's see if she varies her pitching pattern. One, two, a little bit wide, two, two. That was a knuckleball. Little R.J. Dickey type. Two-two pitch, swung and a missed. Four strike three, and Mackenzie Brewster down for the second time on strikes. One down in the bottom of the sixth, and we move to the bottom of the order, and the right fielder, Victoria Roberts. Now batting number six, Victoria Roberts. Saw three different types of pitch pitches on that batter. Saw a knuckler, a curve, and a. Looked like a drop also, so uh, again, the situation, she can let it fly with nobody on. And a two-run lead. one count to Roberts. Pitch from Lewis, 1-0. Is in there for a strike, 1-1, one 7-5, and one, seven, five, more part, bottom of the sixth. Cougars and Raiders been going back and forth after what was initially a defensive struggle and really changed into an offensive onslaught the last couple innings. A swing and a miss, one and two. Notice Moore Park has a right-hander throwing in the bullpen just uh, in, in case. and uh, That would be their third pitcher if they choose to use her. And, and Lewis in uh, relief of Lamar. It's a fastball inside and a called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lewis. We mentioned coming in, she was averaging in her previous appearance two strikeouts an inning. And there's two of them right there. And we go to the top of the order, and Courtney Bragg who reached on an error, stole a base, and scored the first of the four runs last inning. So fourth time at the plate, officially 0 for 3, but does have that run scored. And first pitch a strike. Now she's getting the high strike call, and that, that strikeout pitch uh, on the previous batter was, it kind of froze the batter. You're not going to hit that. It's high inside, and uh, just had to take that pitch. 1-0 pitch is going to be a bit low, too. Uh, no, we're going to say it's a 1-1 count now. Bragg ready. And sends this one back to the screen for another strike. Courtney Bragg, the third baseman, has had a lot of action and has played well defensively today. Base is clear with uh, two down in the sixth. Here's Lewis's one-two pitch, and this one's going to be slapped on over the second. A diving attempt to try and smother it by Brown, but will not get it to first base in time. And Courtney Bragg with that uh, leadoff speed is safe over at first base. Two out base runner with Jasmine Singh next up. And Jasmine has reached base uh, three times today. We need a fourth. <laughs> Definitely. This is the, the part of the order that's been doing it for us. And uh, hopefully we can once again. Yeah, Jasmine Singh out of Morro Bay. Hit batter. Base hit. Run scored. 
and a walk, and another run scored. Here's the steal attempt, and Cartwright unable to play this right, oh, and looks start. like she's uh, down. going down quickly as Bragg will be safe over at second base, uh, or second stolen base of the day, and again, not sure if it was the collision or the ball coming up or what happened. She just kind of went down at the end of the yeah. play. The throw was low and to the shortstop side, and the ball and the runner arrived about the same, and we had some contact. Yeah. Uh, Didn't look necessarily like major contact so enough that you would think would be an injury. It's, you know, she came in clean, but. Right, yeah. Oh, it could be her ankle, possibly. It might have been kind of turned around on the play yeah. because of the uh, hop. Right. And now they're saying it possibly uh, might have been oh. uh, hit in the face okay. on the uh, the ball hit in uh, front of the base. And now it looks like uh, you know, she's fine. She's, uh, just asked her and she's uh, going to shake it off. And again, just like uh, Jackie, who was uh, down for a while when she was at the plate earlier. Hope they have plenty of ice on the team bus tonight on the I think so. I think they'll be, the way they, back. They might be uh, making a Costco stop on the way back. <laughs> For that express purpose. Um, so, end result of that is uh, Bragg's over at second base. And Singh, as we mentioned, has reached base three times herself and uh, scored two of the five Cougar runs, including that uh, first one back in the uh, third inning and then the second of the four last inning. We're in the bottom of the sixth with Moore Park uh, currently holding that 7-5 to five lead. Cuesta has not stopped running, though. They're still playing very aggressive, which is good to see. They're getting the runners, they're moving them, and they're creating opportunities for uh, for offense here. All one count to sing. No Cartwright going back to short and sent back to the screen by Sing 0-2. Cougars trying to come back after giving up three runs in the top part of this inning. Both teams scored four apiece in the fifth, and the Cougars started off the scoring with a run in the bottom of the third, and Jasmine Singh at the plate was the person who scored that run on a base hit by the on-deck hitter, Krin Matsutani. <laughs> Count of one and two. Second more part pitcher sends the one two a bit low, two two. Bit low, maybe a little outside. That's uh, it's a good pitch. Very tempting. Two two, two down, runner on base number two. In a two run ball game, bottom of the sixth. Two two pitch, and this one swung and missed. But now, now they're going to say Foul that uh, she got just a piece of it and will stay alive. So Courtney Bragg, who had the two-out base hit and stole second, is at second, ready to go. Singh, the Cougar second baseman today, is in and ready for the 2-2 from Lewis. And she's going to wrap this hard and under the glove of Cartwright, and that is going to score Courtney Bragg. A big turn at first base, and... Jasmine Singh, like Excellent. you were saying it, you, it would have been nice to have her reach base all four times, uh, and that is exactly what you did. Job. Knocked uh, another run in with her second hit of the day, and the Cougars are now down by one as Courtney Bragg touches home with the sixth Cuesta run, two down in the sixth, and it's seven, six more part. And look who's coming to the plate. That would be oh Quinn Monsatani. Yep. And uh, was singled, singled, and doubled, scored once and knocked in three runs. Other than that, not much. First pitch is going to set high and actually over the backstop and over the stands and back near the retaining road. 0 oh, 1. Well, again, now she's the go ahead and run, so you almost have to pitch to her. And that first pitch, you got, uh, got a real good cut on that one. Matsutani waits, 0-1 pitch, and pretty much the exact same spot hit back and over the stands and over the fence the back way, 0-2. Yep. No wind. If she can get up a little bit down the left field line, uh, we could have some real excitement here. 
Again, six home runs, which leads the division this year. So showing that not only hits well for her average, but power as well. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed. And the throw going through, but it doesn't matter as that was the third out. So Kern Monsatani out for the first time today. And all three outs registered by Lewis on strikeouts this inning. But the Cougars do add a run with a couple hits. And we're going to move on. And at this point, it is a 7-6 to six ball game as we head into the seventh inning. We'll be back with more after this on Quest Good TV. ball game. This program is produced by Cuesta Broadcasting. Start your radio, TV, and film career at Cuesta College. 